Hey YouTube friends, it's Lisa again from the Speech Fairies. I have another fun game to, to share with you. Actually, it's two games, but there's an old version and a new version here. Um, as you know, I'm a speech language therapy assistant and I love picking up games um, to do the work for me. <laughs> so instead of making materials and spending my evenings making materials, I will just buy them. But I just do so in a thrifty way, so I go to the local Value Village, uh, Salvation Army, any of the thrift stores that I've, I'll, I'll let you know where I got them. Actually the one game, Tip the Ship, the one on the right, I did get paid full price at Toys R Us, um, only because I had owned the previous version and knew it was awesome, um, but at Toys R Us Express it was only $10. So not too bad of a find for such a great functional game. So again, these are really portable because they're just made out of cardboard. The one on the left I've used a lot. So Tip the Ship was the original Balancing the Pirates on the High Seas. And um, I've played with this game f with over a hundred children, I'm sure, over the years. Um, but it's still in pretty good shape and I just make sure that um, A, they don't help build the ship and B, they don't take apart the ship. <laughs> so. I think that's the only reason that I've um, kept it this long. Again, they're both from Ravensburger, which I've mentioned before is one of my favorite toy companies. They're a German company and they have amazing, amazing games. So this one is pretty simple. Um, I'll take apart the ship later to show you how it goes together, but basically it's just a cardboard ship um, and I use it for a few different things. Um, problem solving is one of them actually because my preschoolers sometimes are working on those thinking skills, like how can I win this game without tipping the ship? So um, it's easiest, of course, if the ship is balanced. So we talk a lot about those kind of um, words that may be new to them, um, balancing the ship. And so we talk about the big pieces and the small pieces and what makes the ship tippy. So a tippy ship. Uh, I have worked on the sh sound before for ship, but I've also called it a boat to work on like final T um, or final consonant deletion because there's boat and pirate and on. So there's a shark in the water. I'm not sure if you can see that. He's also there if you're working on the sh sound. You gotta keep away from the shark. Uh, luckily the tables at work are blue so we can pretend that the pirates don't want to fall in the water. So my brown table doesn't do it justice, but the blue tables at work are awesome. So we, you can gradually put on different things. Again, I think when I bought it, it was missing some pieces. So I used the coins as one of the, as one of the items you can put on the ship. So you can see that it's getting tippy and how do we balance it? We put something the same on the other side. So it's got really cool treasure and these cute little pirate mice. They're very small, so if you're working on the S blends, you can say that they're small pieces and big pieces. And I put um, the characters on the steps or the stairs. Um, and so you just keep loading up the ship and be careful not to tip. So you're working on rhyming at the same time. So there's a cannon on one side, a cannon on the other side. Often they don't figure this part out, but it, that's what they like the most about this game is that it does tip eventually. So it's kind of cute when it does tip and it crashes and all the, all the pirates fall in the water. So there's big pirates and small pirates as well. So it can work on that word small. I don't use the dice at all. Um, but again, it's just a fun, simple reinforcer, super light, super portable. Um, and this one is the new version, the Tip the Ship game, Can You Help the Animals Aboard the Ship? So it's exactly the same kind of ship. Um, doesn't have as many embellishments, different illustrator as well. But um, it's just got, and it has the animals, but it has those little dice markers on them. I'm not sure if you can see. So it'll have the elephant, and when you roll a three, you can pick the elephant. I actually, again, do not use the dice. I just... Put the animals, there's enough animals to put them on one at a time and work on one of my speech and language targets and then they get to put something on. So really simple, really portable. <laughs> Again, 
So I'll show you how it comes apart. It's super simple. And I have like made one of these. Um, I believe David Sindri at the, I want to say it's Hearing Journey. I'll link it below. Um, dot com. He is a great illustrator. Um, he's a speech pathologist and an auditory verbal therapist. And he does great drawings. And one of his drawings is this kind of similar like side of the ship. Um, but you mount it on an ice cube tray and then it becomes a boat. So it's a really cute activity as well. And you don't have to um, buy it. You could just print it. So his website is full of uh, great printables that he's drawn himself, really cute drawings. And uh, you can, I think it's just a membership fee that you pay. I'm not sure if you pay every year or once, um, but you could check out the site. I'll link it below and you can check it out. It's got great activities for speech and language because he's a speech pathologist and an auditory verbal therapist and an amazing artist. So I'll link that down. Um, but yeah, so you can see, I'll try to do this one handed. Forgive me, it's rocky. Um, like I said, make sure that you're taking apart the game and not the children because you can see how they would bend it. <coughs> Oops, fresh. So they just like really thin pieces of cardboard. So you just have to be really careful <clears throat> taking it apart, but it's worth it. It's such a fun game. Anyway, Lisa from the Speech Fairies again. Um, my other fairy is off for merch break, so I'm gonna do some filming while she's not here because when she is here, you'll know <laughs> because she'll take over. Um, but please consider like, pushing that like button as well as the subscribe so you can get all my contact. If you're ringing the little bell beside the subscribe button, then you'll get alerted when I have new content up, which I'm putting up every day. I'm very busy trying to get it all up. Um, but I think I have enough for um, a few years or not, if not more, because I still have that collecting bug. So I'm gonna be probably still collecting and putting things up at the same time. So I can't help myself. I love to shop for speechy games. Take care. I hope everyone has a very nice day and we'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye.